All right, guys, Jordan Boostmaster here. We're back here in my backyard, Boostmaster's bungalow. So as you can see, there's a pretty sweet hillside right here. There's a few trees in the way, but what I wanna do is make some big step downs and big jumps over here. We've got a blank canvas to work on, and I think we can make some really sick jumps. One thing we can do is make some pretty huge landings. We've got some dead trees we can get rid of. We could even make a lip coming this way, jumping over this uh, quad track right here and there's a natural landing right over here. If we make this, this could be like, this could be like 40 feet big. I don't know, this is huge. But uh, you can see kind of a natural landing right here. I just have all these ideas in my head and I'm excited to just build here now, right? Just imagine what this could turn into eventually. I think it's gonna be epic. Got my friends Wesley and Alex here today. We've got a huge tree stump right here. There's so much potential for different lines. We're gonna make lots of different lines, lots of jumps, step downs, berms, gaps, drops, and uh, I'm just very excited. Going up to the top of the hillside, we've got this uh, quad track that we've got here, but a few trees have fallen uh, in the last uh, last year or so. I would love to build something in this area because it looks so sick. Um, super gnarly though, big uh, boulders and everything. But I think we can make some pretty cool lines. Okay, if you want to see a really crazy rock roll, just look at some of the steep rocks there with like no run out. Just like the gnarliest, like there's no proper run out, so maybe that won't work. Okay, so this is basically the top of this whole hillside. We've got a nice plateau area right here. Yeah, so we've got a whole fire pit here. Uh, we never actually used this fire pit, but the, uh, the previous tenants were using this. There's lots of garbage around, beer cans everywhere. Right down here, it gets really steep. So this can be uh, the starting point for our drops, jumps, and uh, big step downs, lots of different directions. It's just so sick the way that you could go here. I see it, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's gonna be a lip in between these two trees. Yeah, like that In between work. here, it's gonna drop in the middle and then that's gonna set us up for that hip jump. Yeah, that could work for sure. Yeah. Another um, idea I had was like, cause I'd love to make a drop, like a, like maybe even like a wooden like platform and then drop. I wonder if you could do it between these trees where you just like build up a wooden platform, eight, 10 feet up. Yeah. And you just like drop down. That's also a fun option. Um, otherwise, there's options on this way, you know, you've got a big open area there. So um, this is where we can just kind of use our creativity. I'm just so excited to build here. Yeah, because you see where it's steep? Yeah. Like you could case any before that just to test it out, but we yeah, want yeah. full big. You yeah. Can just send it the whole way. So one thing I'm really looking forward to this year with all the trail building I'm doing is just to get in better shape. See, I actually weigh heavier than I've ever been. I'm about 190 pounds right now, so I could lose a bit of fat and I would really love to gain more muscle. For the longest time, mountain biking would be the only form of physical activity that I was doing. I was never really into working out, even though I knew it would be really good for me. But now this year, not only am I doing a lot more trail building, I've also started using Copilot to guide me in personalized workouts for the kinds of goals and equipment that I have. And they are sponsoring today's video. Copilot is an affordable fitness coach app and you get support and accountability from a real person. And you get the flexibility to work out on your own schedule. After filling out what I'm looking for in the app, they set me up with an appropriate coach. I'm working with Andrew. We first met on a video call and we just get to know each other. We talk about my goals. For one, to, to help me to keep mountain biking at like my best, at my top level kind of thing, prevent injury. I'm probably interested in working my upper body more so. He then creates an appropriate workout plan that fits with my lifestyle. I would usually recommend in this scenario like a full body workout. So using all the muscles on Monday, and all the muscles again on Wednesday. They're two different workouts, but it's full body. I can work out at home. I could take it to the gym, of course, and even when I'm on the road. I actually went down to Sedona, Arizona for a week, so I made some time for workouts there as well. I haven't really worked out much in the past, I guess because I didn't enjoy it enough or see enough reason to do it. But now I really do want to step up my game. I want to be a better rider, better climber, 
I want to look better, and I feel like I can lose some fat and gain more muscle. Having a real coach helping me along the way gives me confidence that I am on the right track and doing the best exercises for what I'm looking for, and not wasting my time with generic workouts that may not do enough for me. My coach Andrew is always accessible right in the app. We can always change up the workouts and adjust difficulty based on my feedback. I highly recommend you guys check out Copilot. Click my link at go.mycopilot.com slash jordanboostmaster to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. All right, now let's get back to building. Yeah, honestly, like I can see the lip being here actually working. Like maybe like here. That's quite big too. You just want to get a good run in though. But getting a good run in for this would prove to be a bit more difficult than I originally thought. That's looking really good so far, but we've got two problems with this landing here. These two trees are directly in the way if we go straight down the landing. The thing is, this tree that's leaning over is already kind of dead as you can see the top just fell off on its own recently. This other tree is a cedar tree, but it's kind of rotting out from the middle. And since it's not very big anyways, I can justify cutting these down. So me and my brother took out his chainsaw and we're gonna get some practice downing some trees since this is gonna be new for me. And then he got the chainsaw stuck. So my brother thought it would be a good idea to cut right where all the weight of the tree was. But it's nothing a sledgehammer can't solve. I'm gonna try the other tree though. And this one was a lot easier. I personally haven't used a chainsaw very much, so I certainly want more experience with it. There's a lot I can do on this property with a chainsaw. And now we've got the daunting task of removing these stumps. Probably one of the worst trail building jobs to do. With the help of some of my friends, hopefully it won't be too difficult. But we quickly got bored of doing that and opted for fixing up the landing and making the lift. Wesley's gonna get started building this lip. We figure we're gonna put it about right here. Yeah. We're just gonna be sent descent into the trees. We're just kind of roughing up a lip here, playing around with some logs, though we're gonna make it look really nice in the end. And then the snow came, and a lot of it. 12 inches, in fact, which is one foot or 300 millimeters. I gotta make sure my game cameras are still working and seeing clearly. Speaking of game cameras and capturing game, I definitely captured a lot of animals throughout the last year. I didn't even mention that in the last video, but I really want to show you the kinds of creatures that have been walking through here. As you can see, some coyotes roam around, but the animals I caught the most are deer and bears. I first set these cameras up last summer, and I've tried a few different locations to see what I can capture. I find I'm seeing the same family of about four or five bears, mostly at night, though sometimes also in the day. I believe this is the biggest bear around. I don't see it as often, and I believe the previous tenants that lived here called him Chevy. And there's some smaller bear cubs, and sometimes I'd see them in person, and I always wanted to capture them on my DSLR camera. And there were a few more interesting animals, such as a bobcat that I see somewhat regularly on my game cameras. I also seen it in person once. There's this porcupine slash hedgehog thing. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Oh yeah, and sometimes the bears tried to eat the game cameras. That wasn't very fun. But then I noticed something else. Okay, let's rewind that clip a second. Yeah, do you recognize that big long tail? I just captured more pictures of it rather than video, but yes, that's a cougar. I've seen it a total of four times from September to November, always at night. That's the one animal I'm afraid of seeing in person. But back to the tree and stump situation. So with my dad, I figured we'd just wrap a rope around here and try and pull it down. This cedar tree will definitely be good for some future building plans, so I'll just be storing it to the side here for future use. 
and now we just gotta get these stumps out of the way. So first we use the chainsaw bit and try splitting some of this away. The other smaller stump was a lot easier. I just dug out the dirt and with the sawzall I was able to cut all the legs out. But the other stump was a lot harder to deal with. It required a lot more digging around it. And it still seemed like the sawzall was the better option to cut this, just so I didn't accidentally hit any rocks or dull my chainsaw. But as you'd imagine, it was still a process. All right guys, we're uh, with my buddy Josh and uh, we've got to get work on this lip right now. We've got to finally uh, dig holes for the uh, posts. We're gonna fill it in with logs, build up this whole lip, finish off this run-in. We gotta cut this thing off. Otherwise the whole run-in, we're gonna have to figure out exactly where we want to start. They're close to two feet in, almost. I want to take a sledgehammer, hammer these down a little bit. As for the logs used to fill this up, I was grabbing some cedar logs from a fallen tree, as well as from a maple tree. We're taking the bark off of all these logs so they'll last a lot longer. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really happy with how this looks. And then there was this rotten stump to get rid of since it's directly in the way of the run-in. Basically, we're gonna make a little jump that goes over it. Now, while it looks rotten on the outside, inside is still a lot of solid wood, and this is still quite a task to remove. Yeah, yeah, huh? But now we gotta make a proper run-in. And I ended up changing my mind a couple times about how this run-in should go. I don't know about you, I think it could be cool to like start further up there. It would be pretty cool. And then, like have like a run, like line coming yeah. in and then through yeah. here. And then yeah. you have two options, you can either go around left or make a lift here. Got a stump here you could land into. Yeah, I'll we'll land into Please. here. Nicely come in. Come over here, jump over the stump, huh? You could do whatever you want on the stump. Boop. What do you think? It is pretty big. My bro Wesley is here and we're gonna hit it for the first time today, but that means we need to make an actual run-in. Hopefully it won't take too long. The frozen dirt is not helping, obviously a lot harder to dig through, but I don't have that much time left. I'm actually going to Sedona, Arizona pretty quickly here and I wanted to try and get it finished before I go. Not sure if I can even do that. So as I work on the landing and try and fill in those holes from the stumps, Wesley gets to work on the run-in. Got our little jump over the stump. We uh, kind of made a different decision on the uh, route in here. First we are gonna go this way, but uh, Wesley figured, you know, it's easier going here. And I kind of agree, it is pretty simple. And the snow just started falling right now, so we're gonna wanna try and get this ready and riding it today before it's too late. We've got our lip, huge landing. This is so sick, you guys, I'm really excited. Oh, I can even see some snowflakes on the ground already. Okay. What do you think of this, Wes? I so, think it's gonna feel. Um, <laughs> like crap. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Yeah, it just sucks that it has to be like frozen still. Let's do a run in. Okay, that's super jank and awkward. We just pedal. Hmm, <laughs> shoot, I'm going slow into that. So the run in kind of sucks right now. It could definitely use a lot more work. But if we're trying to ride it today, I honestly am not so sure about this. I definitely, like if I tried to send it, I would certainly just paddle into it, right? Even this little pre-op jump, I felt like I was just like casing it a little bit. I'll try to give like two full pedals after the pre-op, do you think? So 
I decided to guinea pig it. And totally cased it. Bro. Kinda hurt my right foot a little bit. That was like scary, man. And then I like, and then into this like softer, it was feeling kind of weird too. Is that, is that my tire marks? Because just a bit faster than me and you should be good. Wesley's just debating whether or not to do it. He definitely needs to make sure he goes fast enough. Yo! <laughs> dude! You sent it! That was amazing! What's up, my dude? Dude, that was epic! You cleared it by like two, three feet. I'm so happy. It works good, bro. We just I had to work really hard for that. Yes, bro. That was so scary. We did it. I was like, if I drove all the way out here, I gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the next day, the snow was covering everything. In fact, my brother and his son were now trying to snowboard down the landing. Well, at this point, I was off to Arizona for just over a week. By the time I came back, everything was thawed out, very wet. Things could really use a pack in. And we gotta finally finish this thing. So remember how I said I was changing my mind about this run-in? Well, we really tried to make this route as a run-in. I really thought that it might have been better. I was chopping away at that stump. Basically, we are gonna cover it and make it into a roller. Putting all this effort into this, and I would test it out. As you can see, this is way smoother, more groomed than before, so it's not janky like it was. And... I just wasn't really feeling it. That kind of sucked. Try this route. I'm gonna kind of half send it here. Ooh, that was cool. I think I'm just gonna have to uh, finish up this line, make it proper, fill in that dip, get rid of all the soft organic, make it actually hard and rideable. And I think that's gonna be the way to finish this line. All right guys, we're actually gonna measure the size of this jump. We've got a sick measuring thing. It goes up to 200 feet. Let's see how long it is. The diagonal measurement, straight lip to landing, exactly 35 feet. Pretty nice uh, size, I like that, I like that. 10.6 meters for all the metric people out there. Let's uh, keep going down the landing here. If you actually land at the bottom of the landing, 90 feet. 90 feet, that would be 27 meters, basically. Do some measurements here at 40 feet. We'll put this stick right here. 50 feet. We got 60 feet here. Let's make that mark, it sticks a little bit small, but oh well. And I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit more, make it more presentable, and let's finally try this out. It's basically ready to go. Otherwise the run-in, I think is 100% good to go. Yeah, look at these deer prints. All right, what do you guys say? We do a run-in with the Boost Monster. Oh yeah, that's, okay. I'm going way faster than ever before. <laughs> I almost hit it. So basically, when you can clear this pre-op jump really easily like that, you're totally good to go. Just gotta get my pads on. No cases today. Just sends. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Give me some knocks. Yeah, bro. All geared up. Elbow pads, body armor, leg pads. Got the maiden. Let's do one run in and I think I should be good to send it. Yeah, you can get so much more speed. And this run will only get faster and faster as it gets packed to yet. Okay, pedal, pedal. Yo! <laughs> Yo, dude! That was such a rush. Oh my goodness. Yo! Yeah. 
Field. What the heck? That, that was, was so a sick. rush, Let's dude. Go. Yo, forget, forget dude, this that was actually sick. <laughs> and then this part's always funny because you noticeably slow down at this point too. Yeah. Oh, I just made it on that back tire. Yeah. We made a monster. <laughs> we did. This thing is hilarious. Let's see if I can do it better. Yo! <laughs> I think I cased it a tad there. The jump is like scary. No. <laughs> it still messes with you. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's not the it's not the easiest thing. <laughs> man, I am making some difficult stuff out here. <laughs> the janky rock drop, this jump, like I'm finding myself kind of sucking up the lip a bit because I'm just not used to that much speed coming into that lip and and actually needing that much speed, you know? So this time I'm gonna try and pop it a little bit more. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> dude, I sent it. That was the farthest I've done it. I, I actually popped it this time. I actually popped it. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, I actually went far. <laughs> it felt a lot bigger. Dude, that was so sick. Oh. Yo, <laughs> bro, what the heck? Dude, <laughs> I'm stoked. It's like how did that feel though in the air? Like it was good. I was like, I definitely felt higher up. I wonder if I should do it on the boost monster now. I think I landed there. I think that's what it was. Good, uh... Let's hit it on the boost monster. Plus, with all the suspension, I feel better about like landing in soft dirt. It's just less sketchy, basically. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> While it was a little bit awkward on that bike, the landing was noticeably smoother with all that suspension. You can tell there was less head bob. Oh, like was, you landed on a cloud. <laughs> that was funny, dude. All right, guys, riding this jump yesterday was so much fun, and it gives me a much better idea now of what I can do to fix up the landing or the jump to make it ride even better. So we can see where I was landing yesterday. And I'm even thinking about shaving a little bit of this dirt upwards a bit more to make it a little bit less steep and sort of have the landing start just a little bit higher. When it comes to the lip, I'm liking how it feels. It's a nice gradual curve there, but I'm still thinking I can dig out some of that a little bit more so I can get ready for the lip a little bit sooner and really boost it if I really want. Okay, let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was insane. Are you kidding me? That was crazy. Dude, I soared. What the heck? That was actually epic. Look at this. Dude, it's, it's all running really good right now. It feels like it's gonna be a harsh impact, but it wasn't too bad with eight inches of travel. It, it worked out pretty well. It's getting easier and easier to get speed. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Oh, oh man, that is freaking crazy. Oh, whoa. I am soaring on that thing. I was probably like 39 feet there. It's just running so much faster. My fear is that I'll hit the ground and I'll kind of bounce or I'll get really unstable, but no, it's actually been quite stable. So it's been working out. Whoa. Yeah, that was farther. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this thing. All right, guys, that is officially the farthest I've ever landed. So if this is the 40 foot mark, I was just about there. Yesterday, that was my previous record with the Maiden there and there. This jump is a real doozy, super fun, kind of scary. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this build because I really enjoyed sending this thing. I can't wait to see more people ride this. That'll be so much fun. So we're thinking it would be super fun to have a long jump competition out here. What do you guys think? Because I think that would be pretty awesome. Thank you all for watching today's video and make sure you go to go.mycopilot.com slash Jordan Boostmaster to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. Otherwise, if you love this build, click like, leave a comment, tell me what you think and subscribe for more awesome build videos to come this year. If you guys like to support me, I do have a Patreon page where you guys can pledge monthly, or there's also the super thanks button right down below, which is a one-time pledge and just really helps out the channel. If you have any ideas on what to name it, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't seen my previous video building the rock drop, check it out right here. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.